The Unity Theory of Economic Growth has been used recently to analyze the crisis in the world that happened in 2008. It was published in a book uh, in order to give the international authorities all the information they need to approach the crisis. The Unity Growth Theory implies considering that there are four basic elements in every growth. Technology, uh, monetary circulation, competitiveness, and scarcity. This implies that to make something grow in business at, at micro or macro level, it is needed to know how to increase the value of the technology one is using, how to generate monetary circulation in the market, how to develop the feeding of scarcity within the organization and outside of the organization, and how to be competitive. This competitiveness implies uh, having the power of influencing a market in order to gain market share. It, uh, the technology implies doing more with less. Technology is not necessarily hardware. It might be software and it might be peopleware. Technology is producing more with the same, taking more advantage of what you have and of the conditions of the environment. Therefore, integrating these technology with the competitiveness and generating monetary circulation in the market within an environment of scarcity is the key for growth. This integration of all these aspects implies that innovation is the driver of evolution. Innovation implies necessarily um, generating added value. Innovation is not desired, innovation is necessary. And the Unisys theory for economic growth has been applied to countries, country growth to predict, to forecast their evolution, and to institutional growth in order to produce results in, grow, in the growth of the market share of companies. In both aspects, it is absolutely reliable, and using this Unicy theory of evolution, using this Unicy theory of growth, you will be able to increase the growth of every activity you approach.